Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, it's fucking red hot in here. Wow. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do a quick. Oh, yeah. Thought I'd do a quick video on prepping this panel for paint. Um, it's a new series rear door. I don't believe there's any difference between the series doors and the defender doors. I've never really looked that closely. But anyway, I thought I'd just um, uh, do a video on prepping this for paint. And I'll apologise in advance if you get dazzled while I make this video. Um, yeah, I've got shorts on. I've got the whitest legs in the world. So, um, yeah, if you get blinded by a flash of sudden light, then uh, I do apologise. Uh, yeah, this, this panel, this is um, from Paintman Panels. Um, Paintman Paint, Paintman Panels, same company. Uh, two different websites, weirdly. Um, and I thought I'd, uh, what's the word, dispel a myth, I think is the word, I'm prepping for paint. Uh, we've all watched uh, Ed China in his, in his workshop, and he's on about, oh, I've just, all I've got to do now is uh, rub it down uh, with a bit of emery cloth to prep a car for paint. And that's not the, that's not the way to do it, it's really not. All that happens is Ed China rubs a bit of the car paint the car down with a bit of this in front of the camera and it goes off to the body shop and the body shop uses sander. Um, in reality, it's not if, if you're if you're doing a quick spruce up job you, you, on, a, on a on a Land Rover or something like that and uh, you know your chassis has got more patches on it than a quilt and things and battle scars everywhere and all you're doing is an off-road beast then yeah we'll be down with that that's fine but the problem is with this if you have to do a really good paint job you're never going to get even pressure over anything and um, you probably won't pick it up there if i'll do a close-up in a minute if as far as i rub around like that you've got even if i do it straight a little bit straight as well you've got uneven scratches through it all the time and on this, this is a, I think it's an e-coating they call it, it's like a bit like a powder coat stuff. Um, but it's really thin. But there's little, little dimples in it, all, all, all over the whole panel, all over the place. And rubbing it like that does not get rid of them. It does not give you a nice smooth even finish, you've not got even pressure. So if I go like that, I've got three distinct lines going up there. Let me get you off the stand and I'll show you. Let me get you off there. Right. I've got this here, so I'm, I'm. You can see. I don't know if you can see in this light, but there's there's three distinct lines uh, there, and you can see these scratches. That's that's come from using from using that, and that's a fine grade um, pad. That you never get an even even thing, and uh, I'll see if I can. Focus in on some of these little dimples here. Come on, focus your bugger. It's not going to have it, but there are little dimples in the paint, and uh, you can still feel them after you've rubbed down with that. With that, you'd end up taking. With that, you'd end up taking it back to bare metal. So, what you need to use is a sander. This has got um, 400 grit paper on there. You can go finer if you want. This is just for primer, so uh, the high build primer. So I usually use like 400 grit um, for the primer, and then I rub the primer down with a 600 grit ready for the top coat. All depending on what paint you're using. But yeah, you, using the get them bits off so they don't get trapped in the in the in the sanding disc. Cl having it clean, having a clean surface makes a difference. If you get a little bit of grit. On the sanding disc, and your sander's just going. You know what I mean? It's going to put scratches, and you're going to end up with lines like that. But see how much quicker and easier that is. Importantly with that you've not got odd lines because they can show up through your paint 
believe it or not. Um, did you think, oh yeah, not made much difference, paint will cover that. Not necessarily. The other thing is that you can feel it. I can stay in my hand. That, over that, that is so much smoother. Um, it's, you, you, it's unbelievable, honestly, it smooths a baby's bum, that. That is not. And you can see where it's gone through a lot more. You could quite easily take this back to bare metal and, uh, and, and etch prime it again. Uh, if you really want a perfect finish. But, uh, yeah. Um, a common thing that comes up, let me flick you back on the stand. A common question that comes up when it comes to paint, painting new panels with this, um, this black coating is do you need to remove the whole black coating off the panel? And uh, in my experience that all depends on the manufacturer of the panel and the quality of the, uh, the, quality of the coating. Uh, these are a good quality coating, I just rub it down like that and it's fine. But um, one brand is particularly, well I haven't used them for a few years, but what's particularly bad was Magnum panels that make the, uh, the uh, classic mini panels. Their coating, you can literally flake it off with your nail. They need to be taken back to bare metal. Uh, the coating's just not good enough. But uh, yeah, if it sands down like that, it's not flicking off, it's not scratching off easy, you know what I mean, like that. It's, it's, um, it's a good quality coating on these. Uh, but yeah, 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 the Magnum panels, they, they, they were terrible for it. But the um, Heritage panels, the classic mini Heritage panels, um, they're perfect. They're all you need to do is rub them down. That's that's an even better coating than this. But that's what you get. That's what you're paying for with your. That's scratch my ear. That's what you're paying for with um, the, the extra money for is the extra quality. You get what you pay for with stuff like this. So uh, yeah, just thought I might uh, sort of clear that up a little bit. If you're not bothered, then yeah, go at it with that. If all if it if, if all it is is a bash about truck and you're not bothered, go at it with that. Um, but you will get scratches come through, um, especially if you go at any particular like any particular bit. You know what I mean? You will get scratches come through. They will show through. If you are using that, use a really fine grade. But what this is really for, these are really for, is uh, getting into these little corners, these little nooks and crannies, uh, bits you're not going to see. You can do the whole inside of the door with this if you're having a door card on there. Nobody's ever going to see it. It doesn't really matter that much. It's a lot easier. But you want to get right into them little nooks and crannies. Um, that's what it's used for. So that where the welds are there. You want to get into, into the actual welds. This, this spot works. These spot welds. Or around the rivets on the bodywork. And uh, these... Um, these door skins are actually made up of four panels, so you get these little, get these joins there, so you can get you get a fine grade pad, and you can get right in that join there. That's what they're for. They're not for rubbing down the whole car. It takes a lot longer. It takes a lot longer, and uh, yeah, it just doesn't do as good a job. So uh, everything has its place. Everything has its place. Uh, Right, I've got a video I'm going to put on. I've got to put on before this one, so I forgot I've already made it. It was um, taking the van sides, uh, the counter station wagon sides apart. So I'll put that on and I'll put this video on. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, chat away, um, any contacts, whatever you want to do. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Speak to you soon.